Blacklock will move into the centres. And number 14, Shane McKellar, the former St George winger, comes in on the wing. And that's the only change in this Newtown side. The man to watch today, of course, will be the representative player, Phil Sigsworth. Yes, and he's a player that uh, St George will need to watch. In his combination with Kenny Wilson as, uh, as one of Newtown's strength. The St George team has also come onto the field. Their skipper is uh, Craig Young. The main changes in the St George side are the replacements in the second row. Number nine, John Jansen, is in. And number ten, Brad Buchanan, replacing Graham Wynn. Those two players in for Reddy and Wynn. Otherwise, the St George team unchanged. The interesting selection, though, is number five, Steve Morris, on the wing. Craig Young, captain of St George. He has the ability to take that ball up and uh, unload. He's a good ball distributor, and he's going to be a hard man to contain in those rucks. In the under-18s match, incidentally, the score we had, uh, we'll give you in a moment, this is the 1980 scores. You see that uh, St George won both encounters, the first by six points, the second by four. But earlier this year, Newtown re reversed that in the pre-season match. They won by five points. Danzi in control of the match. And quickly that under-18s result. And now there's that long uh, kick-off and uh, knock-on made straight away. 11-2, uh, the under-George winning the first scrum of the match. Standing out from the scrum was the lock forward Buckley. Well, the name of this game today is going to be play in your, your opponent's half. And let's see how determined Newtown are to keep St George down there. That's Buchanan being roughed up by, ba by Bugden. They've got a Bowden. bit of tactics. They're a couple of settlers and uh, they can't afford to take risks because this ball will be slippery. And I would expect that they'll have two or three settlers and then on the fifth tackle, look for the, uh, the ball to be kicked deep into Newtown territory. And it'll be interesting to see just uh, who is going to do the kicking for St George. Probably Kevin Kelly, the halfback. A long kick put downfield that time. And that was the uh, setter, uh, Beatty, who kicked and sees Newdown bring it back to halfway. So Ferguson playing it. Jensen dummy half. It's Bowden. Straight into Craig Young and the other prop, Robert Stone. Pittman. Caught by Young and Jensen. Jensen. Wilson. Sigsworth and O'Grady went past Hetherington away to Blacklock's wing and Blacklock in the centre out there to Ferguson. Hetherington. So George Forward's waiting there, allowing Hetherington to make ground. They're going to have to keep moving up, but there's a linesman in. Touch judge into report. So it didn't take long for the touch judge to get into the action. And let's see who's going to be called out. Danzy. Just uh, pulling in the uh, centre, Ray Blacklock, although he's wearing number five. Blacklock in today playing in the centres. Mick Ryan is out. Shane McKellar, who'll be wearing number 14, is out on the right wing for Newtown. Penalty against Newtown. Young. And the pass went astray to Jansen. Go Grady. Caught by Trudgett. To Wilson. And a penalty against the Saints there, up inside the five. That's right in the centre of the ground. Penalty goes good. By Bowden. Jensen. Wilson. Blythe. So about 20 metres away from the Saints line. Jensen. Caught by Jensen. Wilson and Bugden inside. Ball put down there by Blacklock. St George have got it through Jansen. That was a try gone begging, I think, if that pass uh, hadn't been put down. Yes, it looked pretty good there, the way they moved onto it. A penalty against Bugden Newtown. Bugden's spilling that ball, but uh, yes, they both uh, forwards ran well onto that ball then. And it was well that Jansen got hold of it for St George. But at this stage, Newtown have got St George uh, under pressure. Saints finding it hard to get out of their own half. So about 20 metres inside their own half. And Buckley it is.
player penalised was Jeff, uh, Steve Bowden, in fact. Johnson, not a recognised kicker, but uh, he hasn't done too badly with that one. That's a gain of about 30 metres. Dowling, Buckley. Dowling, Stone going the blind. Good run by Stone, up to the Newtown quarter line. It's a different attacking pattern now from St George as Craig Young is taking the ball up very strong indeed, but he's going to be pulled out again for the use of this hip and this knee, and he, he does it. He has, I've seen him penalised uh, uh, for this before. It might be worth having a look at that again. And you'll notice in our replay the method in which uh, Craig Young runs and Gary Cook, the referee, to tell us. Yes, you'll notice just as he comes to the play, he lifted that left knee right up into the play. Be very dangerous to an opponent tackling. Wilson's gain is only about 20 metres, but he was deep in field. Bowden. Bowden and Bugden, these are the two fellows, the, the big forwards. They're the ones that uh, St George have got to contain. Wilson. That's about 12 metres from halfway. Jensen. Out wide is Pittman. Put down by Blythe, but it was picked up by Sixworth. And now St George through Buchanan, and here's a chance. They've got a huge overlap on the far side. That's Beatty going for the corner. He's got support, and Steve Morris is in on the far side of the ground. A try has been scored. St George going to such a good lead early. All through a lost possession. Yes, yeah, and good work here from Brad Buchanan. What's the dummy? A nice little showing the ball outside to uh, Michael Beattie, the centre. This time he gives it to Beattie. Now the cover defence is struggling to get across there. Stephen Blythe trying very hard to get hold of Beattie. Looked like Stevie Morris has got plenty of speed on the outside. It's a very tight line. Get Beattie giving him the, Morris that ball, but Morris has got too much speed. In for the try. And you'll notice from head on, uh, the pass was practically slipped from one hand to another by Beatty to uh, Morris. They were so close together here, you'll notice that Morris just had to take a simple pass across in the corner. Only just got it down too, but look at that, Alan. It looks like uh, Beatty taking the kick. Or Dowling, Hooker Dowling it was, and uh, was way off line. <laughs> Two of the great names in St George Rugby League, Johnny Raper and Harry Barr. And the conversion attempt by John Dowling nowhere near the mark so the score remains at 3-0 early into the first half and Johnson trying to drive Newtown back and that's not a bad kick a great kick a day like today they're the tactics now it's important that Saints keep Newtown down here back lock trying hard to get out but good defense by St George there McKellar now to Jensen Wilson on the quarter line the ball went loose the referee's got no option but to put down a scrapman Mick Pittman didn't like that one little bit still the ball is uh, fairly greasy and Newtown could certainly do with this scrum Saints getting that handy lead there for three points on a day like today it's a Big lead indeed. Looks like a Newtown ball. Yes, they've got it. Wilson being contained there. And Newtown will be wise not to muck around in their own quarter line here. A couple of settlers, we've seen them before, they've lost possession early. They do well to get out of, it, out of their territory as soon as possible. I'd say this would be enough settling. That ball back and kick it deep into St George territory. Bugden. Now, I think we'll see Ken Wilson uh, position himself for a kick here. Here he is. Left foot kick driving St George back. It's well placed away from the players. 
Johnson repeating the effort of earlier. That's another good kick too. Right on the try line there. What's Backlock going to do with it? Well, well these players get back on side. He's committed himself now. It was rather a strange move there by Blacklock. He's better off to kick it. In fact, from the effect of those last two kicks, Rich, uh, it almost looks as though Blacklock is playing fullback. Yes. Wilson. We were prepared for this earlier, weren't we? We were told uh, McKellar definitely in, Ryan out, but just where they'll play. They could interchange throughout the game. For Jensen. Sigsworth. Good break up the middle. Last tackle coming up. Eight metres from halfway. Wilson. No one running onto it. Jensen and uh, sort of standing flat footed and he had to pick up that Dowling and Sorodimi. He's the leading try scorer in Sydney this year. Mick Sorodimi. A lot of pace on the fast ground. Movement to the blind side. Stone. One-handed pass, and Dowling still getting it away. Buchanan was going to receive it, but Dowling will play it. Trudgett and Jansen running with the backs, and a good pass intercepted. They will not get Ferguson, I don't think. Here's Buchanan trying desperately. He's got a load of pace, Ferguson. And Johnson, the fullback. Good intercept by the winger. Down at the quarter line, Newtown on the attack. Sigsworth to Blacklock. Wilson didn't quite know to whom to pass. They're hesitating, Newtown. 20 metres out, Newtown attacking. Jensen, Bowden. Jensen. A Grady now. Right in front of the posts. Ideal position for a bomb if Newtown want to try it. There it is. It's a good one too. Hetherington chasing it through. Johnson waits. And the ball, in fact, had been touched by Newtown. Well, it must have been St George. I thought he was pointing to a Newtown player. Brian Johnson it was who'd knocked it out. It was a good kick there by Wilson, and uh, I can see that we're going to be doing it again. That looks a bad kick. Well, it looks like you can forget that. That's a penalty right in front. This will be two points. In fact, it will be two points to Newtown with Ken Wilson to take the kick. Any uh, restart of play must see the ball put into play and uh, it was a bad drop out and Harry Bart knows it. Why on earth couldn't he kick it straight down the field, he said. Wouldn't be very happy with that one at all. So Wilson trying to narrow the gap now. And as expected, the score 3-2. That's after about 14 minutes of the first half. a long kick downfield by Beatty, straight into the arms of Sigsworth. Ball was knocked on there. Running wide was Pittman. Jensen. And blindside to Sigsworth. Very dangerous play, Sigsworth. He's a, a stepper and he can make that break. Jensen. That must have hurt. Newtown has still got the ball. Jensen's still got his mouth guard. I think it was Jard Lish. He had to get to his feet and put it back in. Blythe. One to go. Wilson. Too long. Win. Kelly's got it. Trudge it. Sorodimi. There's a breakout wide. And it didn't get that far. Centre Brian Hetherington, the tackler. It's Johnston. Got Morris there. That's Beatty. Steve Morris out on the right wing. 
Uh, Jansen. <laughs> to Dowling. Young. Stone. To Dowling. Kelly. Trudgett. Kelly, well handled. Got Beatty going with him. There he is. That's inside the Newtown quarter. One tackle to go. Young, wanting to keep the pressure on. Getting it back and a good pass from Sorodemi. And away goes to George to Johnston. A beautiful cutout on uh, Ferguson. Six gone. Scrum win to, uh, to Newtown. And Ken Wilson, when he takes the ball to the open side, takes no risks at all. He doesn't attempt to pass it. Big Stevie Bowden, 12 metres from halfway. About 20 odd metres from halfway. Sigsworth and Pittman. There we are, that's what we were saying just before. You start passing in your own territory. And comes to Newtown. Wilson, a good break. He won't have the pace though. And lost it. Referee Danzi right on the spot. Sigsworth. Oh, prepared for that step then. Right on halfway. Sigsworth playing it back to Jensen. Good tackle there from Stone. Jensen, Wilson, Blythe. Newtown trying to play it up to centre, but it's, uh, it's very strong indeed between the front row of, of Stone, Dowling and Young. Jensen. There's not too many gaps up that centre. They're trying, but uh, again, we see Robert Stone there under the legs. One to go. Wilson sending it wide. Pittman. From collapsing and a penalty going to Newtown against the St George front row. Once this ball goes into touch that they set themselves for a move. You can see Kenny Wilson looking all around. And in fact they scored a, a try from a move put on here last week against North. They're not attempting it this time. Yes they are. Same thing that didn't work as well. Same move, that's right. Hetherington. Strong running centre. Number 14, Shane McKellar. Wilson. Sixworth. Sixworth very nearly stepping through. Got around Dowling's tackle. Buckley putting him there. That's Jensen. Wilson. Blythe again. Playing it forward. Not marked and he's not far away from the line. About two metres out on the fifth tackle. One to go. Play. Players coming from both sides and Pittman is on the ground on the sixth. Kelly taking it around. Buckley. Charge it. Lovely tackle. The ball's loose. It's Newtown's. Steve Bowden's got it. Sigsworth. O'Grady. Blacklock. Here's McKellar from the blindside wing. Mac Blacklock going the other way. O'Grady. O'Grady. Don't underestimate him either. He's a lot stronger than he looks, Graham O'Grady. Very talented footballer. Jensen. Wilson going himself. He's the way through there. Wilson can't put it down. Forced backwards by Young and Stone. He couldn't have picked two bigger men. Bugden. Waiting outside. There's Bowden. Bugden can't get it. One to go, Jensen. Very close to the line, but not close enough. Newtown have got the loose head here, and the ball was actually kicked back to St George after Newtown had won the rake. Yes, Newtown won that scrum. That was a let off for St George there. And Saints doing it hard, and getting it out of their own territory, but back to Johnson, and again, a beautiful kick by Johnson, deep down in Newtown territory. This is a hidden talent. We haven't seen this kicking My ability word. from Brian Johnson before. That's the third time, Alan, and he's, uh, it's gained uh, many metres indeed. Ferguson. So Saints players can keep them up there. They've got to get hold of him. And they do just that. To McKellar. It's about 32 metres out from the Newtown line. Bowden. Bullocking his way up the middle. Jensen. Bugden, the decoy, went to Pittman. 
Jensen. Got to halfway anyway. Pittman. Wilson. Sigsworth. A right around trudge it and he's through. The fullbacks are beat. Looking for support. Away goes Blacklock. They'll, go, they'll get him. Good work. And again, it was still Sigsworth instigating that. But that Second kick by Steve Bowden. I think St George are expecting Newtown to work a, a set move there. So they're going to settle it a couple of times. Wilson. Blythe. Jensen. Bugden getting it back. M misunderstanding. Jensen's got it back. Still away to Sigsworth. Nice tackle from Brian Johnston. O'Grady. O'Grady's made the break. Pittman couldn't take it. St George's ball. Halfback Kev Kelly. Playing it to Morris. Culling. Tackle on Mick Pittman. Straight to Johnson. And another kick. Not quite as long as the last one. Straight to Blacklock. Well, that's not the recommended way to take a ball in the air. Oh, long too. Well done. Nice work indeed by St George Centre Johnston. McKellar. Again, the tackler, Johnston. Both BD and Johnson combining well there to pin Newtown down in their own territory. Good tactics from St George there. Kicking deep. Good wet weather tactics. And the centre's getting up on the man. Steve uh, Bowden to Jensen. Wilson. Bugden. Steve Blythe's got a nasty gash over his left eye. And no doubt he'll require stitches for what appears to be a, an eyebrow cut. A Grady to Wilson. Penalty against St George. Here he is. Doesn't deter him from entering the fray again. Sixworth pass to Pittman. It's Bowden. Jensen. Wilson, Sixworth, Hodgie, Hedrington, nice tackle, good tackle by Graham Buckley, Jensen, Ray Blacklock making good ground up the blind side on the fifth tackle, one to go, Wilson calling for it, defence coming through on him but not quickly enough, Wilson's kick is a beauty, that's as high as he can kick it, Johnson, oh what a magnificent take, that's incredible, that is a Fine piece of football there from Brian Johnson. Considering how the state of that ball, very slippery. He went up to it, straight in rules fashion, and caught it beautifully. And how long ago was it? His critics were saying he couldn't catch a ball in the air. They couldn't be watching the games we were watching. Very talented football. And here's a break. break made by Dowling on the far side. He's got support downfield, and the pass goes across field. They're keeping it going. Buchanan had made the break. The pass, though, to where Jansen went forward. Jansen not happy with it. A lovely break from the second rower. Here it is. Brad Buchanan was in the clear. He was caught from behind. The diving tackle by Ferguson put him down. And it was that pass that was ruled to have gone forward. So Newtown, 20 metres inside their own half. Hetherington. Hodgie. Hetherington saw a good break down the middle. 20 meters, uh, 10 meters inside St George's territory, and away goes McKellar, playing against his old club. Wilson, Sigsworth, O'Grady, Blacklock, Ferguson. Nice diving tackle from Jansen. So Grady, and won't find touch, that's Johnson, but he knows what to do with it. That's the Great way to kick downfield. Yes, all right. 
the Newtown players will be saying not again and the reason why they're good tactics is that it turns the, the Newtown players around and they've got to get back to su support the man with the ball in this case it's Ray Blacklock now they've got to get back on side and you see now that the players are still it takes two or three tackles for the players to get back on side what surprised me so far Rich is that Blacklock hasn't decided to stand a bit deeper every kick has gone over his head and bounced further behind him yet he never puts it back either Alan Steve Blythe on halfway. Jensen. It appears at Newtown about the only time they'd ever sort of made a break was when they, we saw the, the backs come in a dummy half there. Three in succession and make valuable ground. And we do know that it is a ploy of Warren Ryan's, the Newtown coach. But other than that, it's Sigsworth as the man who's probably the most dangerous to the St George uh, lineup. But uh, Saints tackling well. And St George still enjoying this slender lead. Only Kev Kelly to Buckley Jansen it's typical wet weather football really isn't it we see in the scrum count that Newtown are ahead by 6 to 5 and in the penalties for Newtown also enjoying a 6 to 4 margin but it's in the lead only one try scored and typical wet weather football we're seeing it very hard to hold that ball it's the jarring tackles that we've seen that players have they're unable to hold the ball in the tackles and as such there have been a few stoppages because of this. Kelly looking for the break out there on the blind side. One to go now. Craig Young, a left foot kick. Crop forward. Blacklock. My word, he takes his time. He's playing in the fullback position. I don't think he's too sure of the uh, of the position. He's giving the opposition far too uh, too greater an opportunity to get up around him. Graham O'Grady playing it. Pittman, Jensen, Wilson, Sixworth, Blacklock. And that's Podgy getting away from Soradimi. Got plenty of pace. Caught from behind. Soradimi putting him down. But they're in St George's half. Now approaching the half-time break, and Newtown would dearly love a try before the break. And there's Steve, uh, Jeff Bugden taking it downfield. A bad pass, they went to touch. St George ball. That's Kev Kelly. Lovely tackle from O'Grady. Buckley, Johnston, Beatty. It's a neat little run. Buckley, Kelly, Jansen, got Morris going with him, Jansen, well taken, good tackle from O'Grady again. Once again, yes, he's tackling well. Jansen didn't like that penalty. Here's Blythe. Jensen, Wilson, Pittman. Jensen's a good runner from dummy half. The opposition stands back and gives him half a chance for going 10 metres every time. So Wilson with the switch in play to Sigsworth. Well timed pass. Blacklock. Ferguson. Daring run. Ferguson not far away and Buckley holding him up in the tackle. What a good run from the winger. Ten metres out. Wilson. Kick is down to the blind side. Johnson again. And he's missed that one. Wilson across, but the Newtown players are offside in front of the kicker. That's a let off too. The uh, first time in a couple of matches we've seen Johnson drop the ball. The penalty went against Newtown. Down to the St George quarter line for the restart. Five minutes before half time. So St George being contained in their own quarter line. This is Trudgett. Graham Buckley.
right on the quarter line to Dowling, Kelly, Buchanan, Jensen, number 12, the tackler. Dowling, Kelly, Trudgett, Johnston, ran onto it nicely. Dowling, Young, Stone. Young, now to Johnson. Now Blacklock's dropped back this time. And he's going to take it on the full. Well, he should be running it up now. He should be making as much ground as quickly as possible to halfway. I think that's something Warren Ryan's going to be telling him at half time. He's going to have to look at, uh, certainly Warren Ryan, the coach, will need to look. I wouldn't be too surprised to see him change uh, Pobgy back to full back and put Blacklock up into centre. It's obvious that Blacklock is uh, not for the job. He's, he hesitates. Uh, he seems to get mesmerised by the St George defence coming up to him. And, and it's pretty obvious to me watching him in this first half that he can't kick a ball. Bugden, the Rothmans medalist from last year. Wilson, uh, O'Grady, it is. A lot worth now. Jansen putting him down. Now that's five tackles gone, five metres St George's territory. Wilson, Ferguson. We've seen what he can do, and he's doing it again, running away from Kelly. Good pass up to Bug uh, Bowden, has dropped it. McKellar tying it through, playing the whistle. Referee Danzi waiting for the advantage and we'll bring it back for the knock-on. There's nothing really in the uh, in the game so far. Still anyone's game. St George got the one-point lead at 3-2. They've scored the, the only try when Stevie Morris went in, in the, after the seventh minute of the first half. Uh, I do think that St George have had the better of the opportunities in the first uh, half. Johnson's tactics of kicking the ball deep into Newtown territory, I think, have, uh, have, have paid off, although not in points, but certainly territorially. Uh, Saints Buchanan made a break uh, when the ball went forward. It looked like uh, Saints could have gone in with Jansen uh, supporting him. And uh, Kev Kelly made a good break too. But a, a beautiful tackle by Graham O'Grady, the lock forward for Newtown, uh, stopped the movement. But Saints have made those two breaks. Newtown, well, there was that Ferguson intercept when it looked like uh, this fellow had plenty of pace. But uh, he, was, he was run down and that was a, an opportunity went begging for Newtown. But nothing in the game today. And there's another long kick from Johnson. It'll find touch. Well, that's an added bonus. Johnson looking initially for extra distance. And he certainly put his side uh, on the metal now. We've only got a minute to go in this half. And what a dangerous period for Newtown. If they lose the scrum and concede points now, they've only got themselves to blame. So a lot hinges on the scrum. Newtown getting it out there. St George supporters didn't like it. Newtown's knocked on. That was Wilson, the scrum half. That could have been a costly error too. Well, we've got it again. So Jensen doing very well in the scrums. Just holding his own with John Dowling, who's a noted scrum, ball winner. Two scrums there that uh, Newtown badly needed with St George looking for points before the half-time hitter. With the halftime almost upon us, Saints have got the, the handy 3-2 lead. But... Well, that had to be offside. The uh, marker was standing alongside the, the uh, dummy half. So, Wilson might kick again. Little kick over the top. And Kelly waiting for it. So that is the end of the first half. 3-2 the score in favour of St George. There have only been the three scoring opportunities in the first half. So that's the second half underway. And that's to Blacklock. He's certainly showing more dash and taking the ball up this time and he's almost away. What a lovely tackle from Kelly. Back to halfway. Good tackle indeed. McKellar. Wilson. Directing play well. That's Blythe. Jensen. Wilson. O'Grady. Jarring tackle from Stone, got it to Wilson, and that's Bowden. Bugden's got it. To Jensen. Bowden. Down to the, new, the St George quarter line. 
kick as a high one again. Johnson waiting. The... Took that with all the assurance in the world. And getting it back into, uh, into play. Trudgett. Yes, he takes that ball very well indeed. That wasn't an easy one either because he had to run and he kept his eye on it and took it well. Managed to get back into the St George field of play. But what a good start for Newtown to come back that way. It's a vastly different story that this time last week. They went to sleep Newtown for the first 10, 15 minutes and let North Sydney back into the game. That's almost down to the St George quarter line. Kelly. Buchanan running wide. A crunching tackle from O'Grady. Assisted by McKellar. Jansen. Kelly. Long kick and Blacklock coming across. It won't find touch. Won't go anywhere near it. Ferguson. These two play almost like twins. They're very rarely separated. And away goes Ferguson. And Morris misses him. Ferguson. Very close to the line. Maybe Steve Morris dived at him a little bit early. But Ferguson playing it. And here's a great chance. Blacklock's. Jensen, Wilson to O'Grady, Bugden, Bowden, takes a lot of stopping, only two metres out, Jensen trying to get over, he's over the line, kid, he got the ball down, it's been held up. A couple of St George uh, defenders on their backs. And in fact, it was Beatty. And uh, Jensen was lying on top of him. And he won for Newtown to win. Wilson playing it to O'Grady. Sigsworth. Good pass to Ferguson out from Blacklock. And Hetherington. Grady. Two to go for Newtown. Jensen dummy half. Wilson calls for it. Didn't go to him. One to go. Bugden playing it. Jensen. Wilson. That's the third time we've seen the St George line pressed by the Newtown attack and the defence holding firm. does seem to have been the case that Newtown have won all the vital scrums, but this is one they don't win. Kelly. That's a penalty. Premature striking in the play of the ball. Be very happy with Newtown's performance. A, a different side. Right from the word go, they, uh, they had that fine run by Blacklock up the centre and he seemed to give them confidence and uh, Ferguson went on with it, almost going in for a try and Jansen actually over the line but, but held up. It was good defence there from St George when Newtown had them under pressure but now Newtown have got to keep it up. Beatty. It's about 15, 18 metres from halfway, Dowling. Tackle with Steve Bowden. Back to Young. Jansen. One to go, Dowling, Young, over Stone's head to Kelly, showing a good turn of speed up the uh, touchline. And his foot went over the touchline too. Long one out to Hetherington in the centres. Blacklock, Sixworth. Pittman. Wilson, O'Grady's pass to Blacklock, Ferguson, Podgy and Bowden, Blacklock on the ground on the fifth tackle to Jensen. Wilson. Out wider to Bugden. Got a good pass around behind to Pittman, but it's St George's ball in Buckley.
Kelly, Trudgett, Beatty. Newtown's ball, and so they've knocked it on too. Errors on both sides there. Graham Buckley, six metres inside his own territory for St George. Buchanan. We've just been seeing Tommy Radonik is there. I just wonder if uh, we may see uh, Tommy come on sometime in the second half. Well, this is the type of game that he relishes. Certainly knows the grinding style of football. Johnson. It's fullback Brian Johnson. Young. One to go for St George. Blind side is Kelly. Uh, Grady waiting back. Good tackle from Beatty. Blacklock. Ferguson. Podgy. Wilson to kick. In fact, not going, gaining as much ground as uh, Johnson did in the first half. So Johnson upfield towards halfway. Young. And Beatty to play it now. Dowling. Yeah, uh, Kelly. Pass, Trudgett. Morris is over that side. Johnston. Playing it to Buchanan. Johnston was hurt in that tackle. That's Dowling. Brian Johnston with a thigh or hip injury going back into position. And Jansen runs it forward for St George up to halfway. Meets the full attention of the new down forwards and refusing to go to ground. One to go. Dowling. Kelly. And Johnston obviously inconvenienced, and let's have a little plug we gave him at half time uh, hasn't put the mocker on him. Possession from scrummers are going to be pretty, very vital in this match, but uh, it's pretty obvious where John Dowling was, right on the ground. Here we go. Steve Blythe, eight metres out. Jensen, Wilson, Bugden, uh, Bowden, I should say. Jensen, past O'Grady, and turn inside to Hetherington. Sigsworth, he looked to be offside with uh, taking close, that ball. Close to it, yes. Jensen, very close, he's there, he scored. Look at Barry Jensen, and we'll have a look at the previous tackle because it will probably show us that uh, Phil Sigsworth was perhaps uh, in an offside position at the uh, pass prior to the one that led to the try. Here we go. Yes, well, it, uh, it looked, appeared to be forward in, uh, in this instance, and, of course, uh, from this play, the ball, with Jensen coming up at the dummy half, it goes over for the try, but you see the St George forward spread expecting Jensen to uh, pass the ball, but goes in for the try. And from head on, this is Sigsworth playing a back. Jensen dummy half, a, a dummy one way, snips around beside Sigsworth to score. Well, that's given Newtown the lead for the first time in the match. Five points to three. And converting the try seven points to three the score in favor of Newtown and that's after about 12 minutes of the second half Wilson two out of two a fine shot there from Warren Ryan and I think he'd be pretty happy with that situation. We come down from a 3-2 behind at half time to 
7-3 lead in the second half and they've got the wind advantage as well. They've, uh, they haven't used it as much as St George. Uh, will they use it as the game progresses? Uh, they, they appear to have been a far better side in the second half than they were in the first half. And Wilson to drive St George back. He's got the breeze. Johnson across. Beautifully taken. He took it as though it was the driest of days. The great anticipation by Johnson. Morris. <laughs> Back to Dowling. Young. Stone. Trudgett. Good stepping run by the 5'8. Where's the support? He's got the pullback to beat. Gets around him. Good run from the 5'8. To Dowling. Kelly. Pass. Jay Young, and that was a bad pass, but it went right out to Morris. He did well to uh, gain possession there. Now one to go, and uh, immediately this Newtown line is under threat. Kelly, Trudgett, Beatty was wide, it went to Johnston. And the end of six tackles in front of the Newtown goalposts. Newtown to pack down without a hooker. John uh, Barry Jensen limping across to take his place in the front row. Newtown trying to delay, to delay the formation of the scrum. He still won it too. Or well, somebody won it, let's put it that way. Pittman on his own quarter line. Jensen he recovered pretty quickly. Bowden, Bugden. Jensen headed straight for the referee. Danzy did well to get out of the way. One to go on halfway. Wilson, there he is. Johnson. That's about the only error he's really made. Trying to pick the ball up on the run and it just slipped out of his hands. Now here's the movement worked again and Hetherington was covered by the defence. Steve Bowden, 10 metres away. Jensen, Lyde. Wilson calling for it quickly. Pass went astray, they've still got it. Wilson's got it. Another try here is going to really uh, put St George uh, in a great deal of trouble. Uh, Grady, Blacklock, looking for Sigsworth. Got blistering acceleration. McKellar wearing number three. The pressure even more so now. Uh, Grady. That was an extraordinary scrum win to Newtown. They, their front row wasn't even packed down. They still raked it back. A Sigsworth. Pittman. Short of the line. Watch for Jensen. A Grady. Bowden. He's over. He's there. Second try to Newtown. And a lead of 10 points to three. Once again, Newtown applying that pressure. Good play by the Newtown side too. There's nothing fancy about it. Bowden looking around. Ellis well and truly into it. But watch the outside defence there of the St George forwards going up and Bowden realising this for the drive. And uh, Bowden actually 
waved uh, Jensen away from Dummy Harp, realising he could score himself, which he's done. So 10-3, and understandably the St George players, while Kevin Ken Wilson is lining up the shot for goal. St George team in a huddle behind the goal line and having a good little chat. Craig Young laying down the law. Pun not intended, Craig Young's job of course is a policeman. So Ken Wilson with an easy attempt for the conversion, practically in line with the right hand upright. And 12-3, that's going to make it a very difficult task indeed for St George now because they've got uh, just over 20 minutes to go. It's starting to rain again here at Hanson Park and uh, well it was handy for Newtown when it wasn't raining because they were able to get two tries in and they've scored them through the forwards. Fine piece of work getting up near the closest to St George line and both Jensen and uh, Bowden getting over the uh, over the line for the tries and it's put St George into a pretty dangerous area. Saints have got to start doing something now but uh, again we see Newtown playing through the forwards and that's obviously their strength today like today and uh, they have had the use of the kick in the second half, as we're seeing, uh, seeing it now. Kenny Wilson driving it deep, and once again, Brian Johnson taking the ball beautifully. That's Morris going straight across field and losing ground. And with St George attempting to run it out, Johnson going right out on the far side. The ball's loose. Snapped up beautifully, and going for the line, O'Grady's in. It looked like O'Grady. In fact, it was Sigsworth, Phil Sigsworth, picking up the loose ball on the far side. And the ball dropped to the ground, and you notice the speed with which Sigsworth runs in here to snap up the loose ball. He did well to pick it up. It's a wonder he didn't put it on the toe, but pick it up he did. After Saradimi and uh, Morris thumb of the ball but there's a very important try to Newtown and look at the faces of John Rapo Harry Bath and Graham Wynn and there's going to be a, a message go out to the St George side more than messages out there today St George they've been outgunned particularly in the second half by uh, by Newtown they've been very constructive in their lead up to their three tries admittedly that was an error on St George's part but the first two were played much better in the second half Newtown well, what a great lead 15 uh, three at the moment and uh, Ken Wilson has his most difficult kick of the day, but he has the breeze. And has missed the kick. conversion attempt from wide out by Wilson it was nowhere near the mark and it's still 15 to 3 about 18 minutes to go and again Newtown goes straight back into attack from the kickoff got by almost on halfway it's in the forwards where Newtown are now dominating we hop back to uh, Graham Wynn and uh, Rocket Ready uh, you know, are they being missed in the first half I, I thought Stone Young and Dowling uh, kept that centre of the ruck very tight indeed but Newtown working the ball, working out wide, changing their tactics and spreading the St George defence, making the St George defence run sideways. Good work, Newtown. They're playing well. Jensen. And how many times do we see this fellow run from dummy half? Forcing St George back at five metres. And Wilson, Wilson to put it for the, line. for the line. Good tactics. 
Newtown well and truly on top here in this match today. And a replacement being made in the St George side. With uh, Halliwell coming on and uh, Johnston coming off. And uh, Steve Morris has moved over into the centres. There's a penalty from the scrum to Newtown. And uh, you'll notice in the background there, the second player on the far side is Steve Morris. He's now gone out to play in the centres for uh, St George. Wilson kicking backwards to give his side more room in which to move. rain beginning to fall uh, a lot heavier now and a lot of the crowd starting to leave believing this match is, uh, is all over. It's 15-3 and a double knock on. <coughs> Graham Buckley to play it. Stone, deft little pass, down to the quarter line, Young, Trudgett, Jansen, trying a little kick through and Sigsworth's got it. Jensen throwing off that attempted tackle. Hetherington setting up field from dummy half down to the quarter line. Steve playing it. Bowden. Here's Wilson's kick, uh, drop kick for goal. And putting it out to the left. No goal. Steve Wil uh, Ken Wilson doesn't often miss very many from that range right in front. Similar to the one he kicked last week against Norris to give them that 9-8 lead. <laughs> 14 minutes before full time. Score is 15-3 in favour of Newtown. And in that score, they've scored three tries to one. St George knocking on to force a scrum. Jim Walters still warming up there. Neat little kick by Johnson. He won't have the pace to get there first. O'Grady beats him to it. It's Hetherington. Shane McKellar, five metres from halfway. Playing it to Jensen. Blind side, Hetherington. ball had travelled forward as Jensen had his arms held to him. Jensen's done very well today. He's won the scrums 12-11 uh, before being replaced. He also managed to score his try while he was on there, so he's had uh, he could be happy with his game here today. That's Walters immediately into the action. Wilson. About Bugden. Walters, Wilson, Johnson can't keep that in play, that was too well aimed by Wilson. Newtown getting their act together now aren't they, through the forwards playing it and this fellow dictating the play. Line. Newtown ball, Wilson's got it, to 
McKellar. O'Grady. He's a tireless worker, Graham O'Grady. Doesn't mind muddy conditions either. So McKellar the player, the player. Eight metres out, Newtown looking for try number four, Steve Blythe. Got through the tackle of Craig Youngs, he's only a metre out. Walters trying to barge over, and he's not there, held up. George winning their first scrum for a few minutes. Yes, it's been the difference. The new town have been able to get possession from both scrums and penalties, and they've uh, we've applied the pressure. St George now that appear to have fallen to pieces. They've, they haven't got the understanding they had in the first half. They're trailing 15-3 now, and Newtown really on the boil, on their game. They know they've got this one wrapped up. To Dowling, you can't. Uh, Kelly was getting into trudge it, and there's Buchanan. Ran straight into Walters. Dowling. Kelly. Trudge it. Got Morris out there with him. <coughs> Dowling. Buckley wasn't expecting that pass, but he's done pretty well to get out of it. That's up to halfway. He's got support. That's uh, Soradimi, the winger. Floated over the top and knocked down by Ferguson. Advantage played and Newtown have forced the knock on. Kelly. McPittman coming from the second row to ground him. Buckley. Trudgett. Morris. Wrap around is to Trudgett. Nowhere to go. The Newtown defence moving up in that straight line. No gaps. It's almost as though Reggie St George have forgotten to kick. Yeah, Saints have forgotten about uh, a few things out there, Alan. They're playing very ordinary football at the moment. New turn on top of them. It's Jansen. To Dowling. Young. Pass Trudgett out to Halliwell, who's dropped it, and it's a Newtown ball. Brian Hetherington. Wilson to the blind side. Ferguson, plenty of pace. He's got the fullback to beat. Johnson takes him well. Blacklock, O'Grady, O'Grady almost through. O'Grady. Big Steve Bowden stepping his way through, powering his way to the line. He's over again. And for the second time in the match, he's been held up over the line. Not able to ground the ball. And from head on you'll notice that Bowden uses his pace but can't ground the ball that's good work by the St George defence but Newtown win the scrum to go back into attack 15 metres out Newtown certainly not done with yet O'Grady to Sigsworth McKellar Jansen and Buchanan, the second row pair, putting him down. Playing it forward. And was held. Penalty will have to go. No, the advantage ruled. And he's playing the, the, the try. Good work. Referee Danzi had the whistle in his mouth to give a penalty. And you'll notice in this, Gary Cook will explain it for us as we get the replay. Yes, referee Jack Danzi uh, played a very good advantage rule here. You'll see when the replay comes up that as the, as the player goes to play the ball, uh, here he is, he's being tackled here. It's uh, Shane McKellar who eventually scores the try. But as he gets up to play the ball, he goes to play it forward. You can see him held from behind by Buchanan. He's struggling to get go, uh, get through. Jack Danzi has the whistle in his mouth to give the penalty. You can see it now. There goes the whistle in his mouth. He's about to blow it, but as Buchanan dives over the line, he awards the try. And here it is from head on. The whistle about to go now for the obstruction, and he scores. Three or four, they try scored from that uh, 
play the ball dummy half position and the centre of the St George Ruck is not as tight as what it should be. There were on a couple of occasions also where Newtown players were held up over the uh, over the try line. So Newtown well and truly on top. So Wilson attempting to make it 20 to 3. 